Are you here? Oh god, good. This fuck, man. This fight. This was tough. I. Wow. I wanted to just slap on the recording just in case something bad happened. You know. I mean, holy shit. As you can see, Oda's just barely pulling through here. Fuck. This is this is intense. No, but in all seriousness, easy fight, and even though I'm fighting this, these honeys, this music still gets me going. I love it. I love it. And you didn't miss anything. I, uh, I fought honeys. <laughs> that was really all. That was all that you missed. And a sequence of idle chatter. I made sure nothing important was, uh, skipped or what have you. Oh, and I fought off some peasants. Just catching you up on that, too. I know how, how much you care. Um, and obviously Rance is here now, in their throne room. Which is... With my newfound fear of the Hanis, I mean, that throne room is scary. To me. So yeah. Anyway, they go through this. They find out his... His lie, the Hani King's lie. The Hanis find out their leader's lie, and they're, they just get mad at him. They don't even... Like, what? Oh no, that's if you reveal it at the restaurant. They find out and they just like beat him up a little bit. They punch him. And here they think he's dead, so they all leave. He became a star. A shooting star. Perhaps a reference to something. I don't know it. I don't know half the references in this game. And there are there are so many. If you know any of them, please let me please tell me what they are. I'll point them all out as I see them. Because I'm so positive it has to be a reference. I mean, almost every army's got at least three things associated with it that I can consider a reference. Well, one then, because Hara, fuck them, they don't have anything special about them. Unless you include real life shit, then if you include real life references, it's just amazing, but... And the leader's just a huge bitch, so he apologizes to his daughter as Rance takes her. Um, that's that. The scene is... Oh, man. It's funny because she passes out and, like, her eyes get all spinny or whatever the hell. But, I mean, you can't... There's nothing actually happens. I mean, it's just Rance leaning over her. And, honestly, Rance is, uh... The way Rance is drawn in the, in the scene is really bad, if I recall. Let me just check. Let me look at it. Um... Yeah, that's... I don't like the way he's drawn at all. The girl's drawn really well, though, actually. She looks good. Um, oh my god, accept reinforcements. I'll, I'll make you guys wait. I'll get another satisfaction bonus. Yeah. Alright. Oh my god, there she is. It's happening. I'm recruiting her. That's Dosan-chan. I guess she's kind of got some darker skin, too. Um, yeah. And Dosan-chan, Abaroka Dosan-chan is based on a real person. I don't know about the Mino 3, but I know that she is. The real person was, of course, male. And I don't remember who it is, either. <laughs> or their significance. So I believe they died. Well, they're all dead. Okay, like in battle, in the time period, Dosan died prematurely. There you go. Um, yeah, now he's just eating other people's dango because what a shame, Nobunaga's not here. Oh, and this. This is what allows you to trigger war on Hojo. A lot of times in the game, they'll throw you like some bait, so to speak, so you force yourself to declare war on a certain army. Um, this one still, it gives you an option. Like I mentioned in a previous part, if Yuki Hime from Asaya Sakura comes to Rance, to talk about diplomacy, he will just randomly grab her tits and, oh, we're at war. And you can't do anything about that. Though, on other occasions, you have the option to grab her tits or wait. So, obviously, grabbing her tits is war. And in this situation here, this girl falls over, and Rance has the option to look at her underwear or rape her. Obviously, if you rape her, that's, that's the option that triggers war, and you go to war with Hojo. And I'll do that. I mean... Why not? Although, if you just look at her underwear, Rance, you know, and the old guy are like, 
What a nice sight, how fortunate of us. <laughs> and that's it. Though if you rape her, the old guy's like, oh fuck, what's happening? Let me go complain. And that girl's father happens to be an important military leader in Hojo. Thus the declaration of war. And I think the girl actually killed the ogre here. Because that's her job as a Hojo diviner, you know? They, they go around and kill the ogres for people. In this case, it was the old tea house owner. And, like, Rance hasn't heard of these people. You know, you think if he was in a situation like he is, he would know about the other families. He would be aware of what is going on. They're all so important. But he's not. Ko knows much more than he does, and obviously 3G has to. That's his job. Ah, well. She tries to leave, and she's gonna get... Well, in my playthrough, she's gonna get raped, unfortunately, for her. There you go. There you go. There's no scene, you don't get any satisfaction, I don't think. I mean, I don't remember. There you have it. I mean, this is just some random person. <laughs> doesn't know who this is. Which, that th that's not the worst of it, it's just that... He had sex with her two times while he's having sex with all these other women throughout the game. And like he couldn't control himself. What are we dealing with? Um, they try to get Oda to apologize, but the guy's already declared war or whatever. And this is what I want. I want to fight Hojo. I want to take two of their territories, separate them from Takeda, and then let them sit. They'll be beaten badly enough. And hopefully I will have captured Ran, and hopefully Son will have disappeared. And they won't have any, like, really powerful shit to attack me with. And then I can just take Osugi. It's, it's kind of risky, because... Um, the Tenshi sect is getting close to taking one of my territories, so... Uh, maybe I'll do something about that first. I'm thinking on the fly. Thinking on the fly. And it's pretty bad if, like, one of your subordinates, one of your trusted subordinates just doesn't listen to what you have to say and declares war for you, like, well, you made a wrong decision somewhere along the line. If you have that guy also making decisions for you, you know? Skip through this, god damn it. And we have this again. Oh, it's different, so I'll, I'll let it go. Good thing I didn't skip it. Um. I don't know if they'll take Usugi now, or what. I hope that they don't. Um, I didn't tell you this beforehand, but if you let Takeda take Uesugi, they kill Kenshin. She doesn't go with them. She's dead. If you let them take Hojo, uh, Son joins them, I believe. They force him to work for him. Or they force Son to work for Takeda, I shouldn't say. I shouldn't refer to Takeda as a him, since it's a, you know, it's a thing. It's a state. And this is actually kind of interesting dialogue, because I haven't seen this before. So, I'm going to, as soon as it comes back to my turn, I'm going to declare war on Uesugi. And see what they say, and I really, really hope that this works out. I mean, I didn't think about it when I when I told Rance to rape that girl, I didn't think that it would throw the the balance of northern Japan, you know. Oh, they do lose straight up. Damn. Well, maybe not. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I, like I said, I haven't done that. And here it introduces you to Takuga. Um, it's kind of a cool army. I won't be interacting with them much in this playthrough, though. More than likely. Uh, that, like I said, they take over Hojo's southern island thing, which is just this. It's a wasteland. And it's not really... It didn't belong to Hojo. They just defaulted it to Hojo because there were a lot of ogres here. And Hojo was the only, like... 
union, the only thing that went there for anything, you know? They went there to kill ogres occasionally, I guess. That's how I look at it. I don't even know if that's true. But anyway, um, Shikoku is a land of rejects, so to speak. It's where all the wounded people, like she's missing an arm, her brother there's missing an eye, uh, their leader, Ryoma, is a hermaphrodite through curse. It's not like it, she was, she, he was born that way. I like to think of it as a woman. Uh, and then there's Gon, who is like her dad. She doesn't have a mom or dad. I believe they're both dead. All of them don't have parents anymore. You see Gon last. Uh, Ryoma is a ninja. The brother and sister are warriors, and Gon is a guard unit. The warriors are really below average, and Ryoma is below average too as a ninja. Gon's capable as a guard unit. Uh, Ryoma's character clear decides what happens with the two siblings. I'll go into that in more detail because they have a lot of story segments that, that are kind of like vomited at you here. I shouldn't say vomited. It, it's a good thing. I like, I, when I first played through this game, I really enjoyed reading all these things, you know? I loved it. I liked meeting all the new groups. And this one was cool especially. But you don't know immediately that Ryoma's a hermaphrodite or futanari or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know how, how the rules work. Like what, is a hermaphrodite, you have to be born that way. Futanari don't exist in real life. So that's probably more appropriate for the game. Ryoma's a Futanari, there you go. Um, and in, their char in Ryoma's character clear, you get to pick whether they become a man or a woman. Pretty much summarizes everything there. So yeah, they're, they're a cool group. They will go on the offensive and take one of Mori's territories. Then they ally with Mori. And again, you haven't seen much of Mori. You haven't seen much of uh, Akashi or Tenagashima. You probably won't. I apologize. I'll show them in another playthrough or something, though. So don't worry about that. And they're cool. I like all of them. A lot. It's just that the focus of your first playthrough will never be this side of the map. There's no way you will... I mean, if you do for some reason focus on this side of the map, it works fine. You can play the game either way, it's just, it directs you in the other way, really heavily. Everyone I know has gone north, they've never gone to the west. And there's Gon, he's, he's cursed as well. Uh, him and Ryoma are cursed, that's why they're there. They're not, like, naturally deformed or something. Uh, Gon, it doesn't explain it right now, but he's really big and strong looking. His punishment though is that his tongue is rotting and he won't be able to speak for long. He's becoming less intelligent, I think, something like that. So, his character clear is... Well, no, I don't think you decurse him, actually. Never mind, fuck that. But a lot of the character clears get more complicated as the game goes on. All of these guys have a complicated character clear. They are not... They are not something you can do very easily. You can't just give them lots of stuff and make them love you, trust you, you gotta go through some dungeons. You, you have to have specific territories on the map, for Ryomas at least. And you have to get Ryomas to get Yuzuras or Mines. They're pretty interesting. There's, there's a lot to say about these guys. A lot. Turn 34. Just moving along, man. I don't even know. Mans, guys. Oh, here's my reinforcement. Leila, Rera, yay! That's how they'd say it in Japan. Just like Rance would be Lance. Rance? Ranche? I don't know. Do I sound like a Japanese girl when I try to pronounce that stuff? I might. Anyway, she's from one of the other games as well. She knows Rance quite well. Quite well. She used to be more easy going and shit, now she's serious, wants to get a family going. Realizes that she won't live forever. And indeed, well, I'll save it. Well, I mean, she can die like all the other commanders in the game. It's just that she can die a little easier and a little worse off in a worse way than the other commanders. Um, and her, her greatest dream when she comes to this country is to fight Kenshin, because she 
She holds her health. She holds herself highly. She thinks she's a good swordsman, and she is. She's one of the best units in the game. And to get her character clear, you have to have her fight Kenshin. And her uh, her character clear. The CG for that's great. <laughs> it's really funny. It's unique for a couple reasons. I may get her clear. I'm, I don't know yet. <laughs> 